This is the hot question. Can someone keep living in sin and still be saved? Can a person continue doing the 1 Corinthians 6, 9 and the Galatians 5, 19 sins and still be saved? People have decided to join a church, invited to it by their friends. They made an altar call to receive Jesus into their hearts. They call themselves Christians, but they want to know deep inside, can they keep on sinning? Can they still keep their partner? What about watching porn occasionally? Or having an occasional abortion? What about their new spouse after they got divorced? Can they keep living with them? Or can they keep living with their girlfriend or boyfriend without being married? The Bible says no. If you keep on sinning and don't repent, you will perish and face judgment. The wages of sin is death. Repentance is what separates real Christianity from false ones. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who desires all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. For the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some count slackness, but is long suffering toward us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Those who refuse to repent walk to destruction. Let no one deceive you with empty words, for because of these things the wrath of God com comes upon the sons of disobedience. Therefore do not be partakers with them. Therefore put to death your members which are on the earth, fornication, uncleanness, passion, evil desire, covetousness, which is idolatry, because of these things, the wrath of God is coming upon the sons of disobedience in which you yourselves once walked when you lived then in them. The false churches avoid repentance and tolerate sin. These churches are nothing but Sunday entertainment centers for unrepentant sinners. They tell them they're all going to heaven. Their salvation is guaranteed because the Spirit seals them. And they were led in a sinner's prayer and told, once saved, always saved. The pastor often says, all you need to do is just believe Jesus died for your sins and rose from the grave. Don't worry about repentance. If you believe in Jesus, you are a new creation. Just trust in the finished work of Christ. Regarding remarried and divorced people, the churches are full of them. And instead of warning them, that divorce and remarriage is adultery. The pastor tells him, If anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. Be blessed in your new marriage. The Gnostics taught the same thing, sin indulgence. Jesus hated the deeds and doctrines of the Nicolaitans. They also taught an indifference to idol worship. False Christianity indulges in sin. If your church is not preaching repentance and holiness living, leave and save people out of them. Jesus hates the deeds and doctrines of the Nicolaitans. This is the message which we have heard from him and declare to you, that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his Son, cleanses us from all sin. My little children, these things I write to you so that you may not sin. And if anyone sins, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. Now by this we know we know him, if we keep his commandments. He who says I know him and does not keep his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, truly the love of God is perfected in him. By this we know we are in him. He who says he abides in him ought himself also to walk just as he walked. Little children, let no one deceive you. He who practices righteousness is righteous just as he is righteous. He who sins is of the devil, for the devil has sinned from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. 
Whoever has been born of God does not sin, for his seed remains in him, and he cannot sin, because he has been born of God. We know we are God, and the whole world lies under the sway of the wicked one. Little children, keep yourselves away from idols. Amen. Summary Turning from sin and returning to God. Shuv. Repentance is commanded by God in both testaments. Those who refuse to repent walk to destruction. Those who preach non-repentance preach another gospel. Avoid them. Avoid the Nicolaitans of today. If anyone teaches otherwise and does not consent to the wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the doctrine which accords with godliness, he is proud, knowing nothing, but is obsessed with disputes and arguments over words, from which come envy, strife, reviling, and evil suspicions, useless wranglings of men of corrupt minds and destitute of the truth, who suppose that godliness is a means of gain. From such, withdraw yourself. But those who desire to be rich fall into temptation and a snare, and into many foolish and harmful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. For the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil, for which some have strayed from the faith in their greediness and pierced themselves through many sorrows. O Timothy, guard which was committed to your trust, avoiding the profane and idle babblings and contradictions of what is falsely called knowledge, Gnosticism. By professing it, some have strayed concerning the faith. God bless.